it's just amazing to have a huge screen when you do vlogs like this and be able to see everything the record time whether or not I'm shooting HDR or not and all the settings basically and it also has this clear zoom which is supposed to zoom into a two time two times zoom and uh, you know without losing any quality so hmm, it's pretty interesting actually it's a nice feature and I can stop the record by just giving up on. So this is my review of the new Insta360 Ace Pro and how does this compare to the GoPro Hero 12? Which has the best bang for its buck? Is it the GoPro 12 at 399 US dollars or the Ace Pro at 449 US dollars? Which has the best overall performance and which one should you buy? Let's find out. I also want to say that this video is not sponsored by Insta360, however they did send me an early unit to test out and review, but the opinion still stays mine. So now doing an audio test with the GoPro Hero 12 and the Ace Pro, both are shooting with auto settings, the GoPro at 5.3k 30fps, the Ace Pro at 4k 30fps, and both are using HDR. Now as of audio comparison between these two, I find the Ace to be a bit more clear. The Hero 12 still sounds good though, but the audio seems to be a bit more were muffled. So as of the built-in microphones, I would give my vote to the Ace Pro. Now just like the GoPro Hero 12, the Ace Pro does also have a voice control and you can connect your AirPods in order to control the camera. What's really nice now is that I can just say start recording. And now it started recording and I can also say stop recording. And it stops recording. And I can also take a photo by saying take a photo. But the other awesome thing about the Ace Pro is that it also has gesture control, which means it's gonna be extremely easy when I'm out riding my motorcycle. And the only thing you have to do is to raise your hand to take a video and do a peace sign in order to take a photo. So it's now actually counting down, taking a photo here. And we can also take a video and you take a video by just raising your palm like that. So raising the palm and it starts recording a video and you can also stop the video in the exact same way so raising my hand again and it stops the video but when it comes to audio from these two cameras if you really want the best possible audio you will have to connect an external microphone like the dji mic and in order to do that you would need to get adapters for both and as of stabilization both cameras look good to me and there's not much difference when doing normal activities both cameras have horizon level as well as 360 horizon lock so if you really want to make sure that horizon stays a level the gopro has horizon level in 5.3k and the ace pro in 4k as of 360 horizon lock both cameras can shoot in 4k resolution and as of slow motion both cameras can shoot 4k at 120 fps and also super slow motion at 240 fps but here you'll have to drop down to 1080p on the ace pro and 2.7k on the hero 12. now as of quality differences are you guys able to see the differences between 2.7k and 1080p if you're watching this on a smaller screen it might be hard to tell the difference but watching this on a bigger monitor i do see more details in the gopro and crisp quality with smooth slow motion is always another big area to consider if you're looking for an action camera. But as of 4K 120, there's not a significant quality difference between these two cameras when everything is set to auto and we have the natural color profile on the GoPro 12 and the standard color profile on the Ace Pro. But to me, the Ace Pro looks a little bit more true to life when it comes to the color scheme and color balance and white balance and when everything is set to auto compared to GoPro. So because of that, I would probably give my point to the Ace Pro. And when it comes to low light image between these two cameras, the Ace Pro has and you optimized one over 1.3 inch uh, sensor which is brighter than the one over 1.9 on the gopro and it also has a new 5 nanometer ai chip and it's also co-engineered with leica so here's a comparison with the hero 12 and the ace pro I'm also curious to know your thoughts on the low light comparison between these two cameras. Which do you think look better? Is it the Ace Pro or the GoPro Hero 12? 
So when it comes to this HDR, uh, the Ace Pro has active HDR, which means HDR is enabled from 4K 30 FPS and lower. So 4K 30, 4K 25 or 4K uh, 24 FPS, whilst the uh, GoPro has uh, HDR in uh, most resolutions and uh, frame rates but which do look better when I'm facing the sun here is it the GoPro Hero 12 in 5.3k HDR 30 FPS or is it the Ace Pro? Now when it comes to white balance both the cameras are set to 5500 Kelvin the other settings are set to auto so I think these cameras are doing such an amazing job when it comes to the auto exposure and all of that but the big question is how is the sun or how, or how is my face when the sun is hitting my face now when it's about to go down which has the best exposure which has the most details and which looks better this is 4k 30 hdr on both cameras identical settings so which looks better is it the ace or is it the gopro hero 12. this is now 5.3k resolution at 30 fps hdr on the gopro and still the active hdr 4k 30 on the ace pro the white balance is still the same 5000 500 Kelvin on both the other settings are auto which do look better is it the GoPro Hero 12 or is it the Ace Pro now I do find the Ace Pro to be a little bit better optimized here when it comes to HDR the sensor does also help and the corporation with Leica doesn't actually make it worse either Leica is well known for their optics which plays a huge part in the image quality coming from the Ace Pro I also find the GoPro Hero 12 to struggle quite a lot when it comes to HDR standard video or log when the sun is hitting my face and when it comes to color profiles and skin tones there's always that question which looks better I do feel like the GoPro is leaning towards the yellow side and the Ace Pro maybe towards the red side so I'm really curious to know your take on this so let me know down in the comments below and this is 4k 60 with a flat color profile on the Ace Pro and 5.3k 60 with the GP log profile on the GoPro 12 so this is how they look which one do you like more let me know in the comments below and now using the widest field of view on these cameras we have the action lens on the ace pro and the hyper view on the gopro so this is what you're gonna get with these two cameras and also the color profiles used now is vivid on the ace pro and vibrant on the gopro and the gopro is also shooting in the standard video mode and snapping a few photos both look good to me to be honest and there's not really much to say the ace pro shoots 48 megapixel photos and the gopro shoots 27 megapixels However, the GoPro 12 is limited to 4x3 photos where the Ace Pro can take vertical, horizontal and 4x3 photos and has a new feature called Live Snapshot. So this basically allows you to take a photo when you're recording a video. So it basically works as the GoPro's photo grab, but instead you take the photo you want there and then, whilst on the GoPro you have to connect to the app, then locate the frame you want to grab a photo of and then export that photo. But overall, when it comes to image quality from these two cameras, I quite like them both, so I would give this a tie. Now, another talking point when it comes to these action cameras are mounts and how you mount them. You want it to be as convenient as possible, as fast as possible, and as secure as possible. And this time, I think Insta360 nailed it. However, I do like the secure options from GoPro with the feet and the quarter inch mounting option built into the camera, but I do prefer something which is faster and more convenient. So my point actually goes to GoPro and the Ace, since I mainly use these quick lock plates from Insta360 anyway, which I can use and mount on the GoPro 12. So, you know, because of the quarter inch screw on the GoPro Hero 12, this makes it so much easier for me. And because of that, I would give this a tie when it comes to the mounting options on these two. I still love the mounting options on the uh, Action 4 and this quick release system here, which is awesome, but you still have you still have that wiggle sound, which I'm not a huge fan of. But with these two, you're not gonna get that. And if this only had a quarter inch screw on the bottom, it would be the perfect mounting system if you ask me. And when it comes to recording videos in different aspects, GoPro Hero 12 has different aspects like one by one, four by three, a vertical and horizontal video and eight by seven aspect, which you can later crop in in post if you want to make a vertical, horizontal or videos in different aspects for different social media platforms. 
but the Ace Pro does have free frame mode up to 4K60, which works in the exact same way, but maybe a bit better since you adjust everything in the Insta360 Studio or mobile app, which also offers more than just the change of aspect. So here I would probably give my points to the Ace Pro. And another feature to the Ace Pro is also AI Warp, which you can find in the Shot Lab inside the Insta360 mobile app, and this is basically what has been a trending topic on Instagram and TikTok for many months, but this has always been paid apps which you have to go through in order to make these AI warps. So it's really nice to see that Insta360 is offering this for free. As of battery life and doing a quick overheating test here in the studio, both cameras performed good in the highest resolution. So GoPro at 5.3K 30 FPS and the Ace Pro at 4K 30. The GoPro overheated at 44 minutes and the Ace Pro ran out of battery after one hour and 23 minutes. So 83 minutes there. And both cameras in 4K 30, the GoPro Hero 12 overheated after one hour and the Ace Pro ran out of battery after one hour and 33 minutes. So 93 minutes now. And just to make this a bit more accurate, I did a third test with the highest resolution as well. So GoPro overheated after 46 minutes and the Ace Pro ran out of battery after 93 minutes. And when it comes to charging these cameras, the Ace Pro has a quick charge from zero to 80% in 22 minutes, where the GoPro 12 takes four times as long to reach the same battery level. Now, as of screen and UI, every camera seems to beat GoPro nowadays and the GoPro still feels laggy and unpolished even after the latest firmware update and I constantly have a few minor issues. Even though I'm quite used to these issues, I always get reminded when there's a new camera on the market which performs better. The Ace Pro is super fast and responsive and does also have a 2.4 inch touchscreen which can flip, which makes it the first action camera with a flip screen which is also waterproof out of the box down to 10 meters or 33 feet. The huge screen does also make it easier to frame yourself if you're out vlogging or if you're shooting low angle shots like a cinematic sequence, it's easier to see what you capture because of the adjustable screen. So to me, this is a huge advantage when it comes to usability and it's a big plus to the Ace Pro. And as of features, the Ace Pro has features like pause, cancel, and continue recording, which offers a wider area of use than the GoPro 12. So let's say you're out of vlogging and you get interrupted. The first thing you're gonna do is to stop the record and then start a new record later once the interrupter has left and you can continue with your life. But now you can press pause instead and when you're ready to go, you can just hit that shutter button and it will continue to record on the exact same file without creating a new one. And this stop, pause, start, resume, continue recording thing, you can actually do that with previous clips as well. So let's say you were out shooting a video a week ago and you want to go back and add something to that exact file because you want to import one file or you are working on something and you want to keep everything organized, you can actually go back to that file, select that file in your library and then choose continue recording. And what this will do is to start your next video at the end of that video. Now we do have another one which is called console recording and this is pretty straightforward. So when you're out shooting your videos and you feel like I don't want that recording at all. So instead of going back to your library and then deleting that file, you can actually just hold the shutter button when you record and that will actually stop the record and delete the video. And just like the Hero 12, the Ace Pro does also have a zoom function, but this is a little bit different than the GoPro 12s. So the GoPro can do internal digital zoom and the Ace Pro can do more or less the same thing, but this has something called clear zoom, which Insta360 states to punch in to a two times zoom without compensating on quality. So with the GoPro, you cannot zoom while recording, but with the Insta360 Ace, Pro you can just tap this and you will have that clear zoom but with the GoPro you will have to cancel the record then go in and then zoom I guess and with this you can just do that clear zoom Let's see if it's actually zoomed in here so we have 1.4 times zoom and on the ace we have clear zoom and looking at the GoPro 12 to the right, the differences is quite obvious and punching into 500%, I would say the Ace Pro is the clear winner. It just has more details and the image looks better. And here's another example, zooming in at a distance, the level of details are much clearer on the Ace Pro. And new to the Ace Pro is also AI highlights, which basically highlights the best moments of your video, which you later decide what to keep and what to delete. This will make file management more convenient and it will save you both time and storage. And as for the GoPro 12, this only offers highlights that you have to mark yourself either when you're shooting the video or when you go back and play back the video later. 
And if you're the person that skipped out on the GoPro Hero 12 because the lack of GPS, well, Insta360 Ace got this covered. The Ace Pro is the first ever action camera to have a dedicated integration from Garmin and Apple Watch, which means you'll get the overlays like speed, altitude, heart rate, track, pace, distance, calories, and more. So there's no need to get a separate GPS remote in order to get these overlays. So if you're using an Apple Watch, for example, you first have to go into the health app and then select apps and then select Insta360 and here you can enable all or select your preferred activities. And when you're done shooting your video, you can go into the Insta360 mobile app, select that video, then go over to stats and here you can disable or enable your preferred overlays and later export the video. So the Insta360 Ace Pro definitely got some amazing features, but if it's enough to beat the GoPro Hero 12, well, that's up to you to decide. But I hope this comparison could help you in making the better choice and whichever you decide to get, let me know in the comments below. I'm also curious to know your favorite feature when it comes to the Ace Pro. Is it the screen? Is it the AI warp? Which is your favorite feature? Let me know in the comments below. So there you have my comparison between these two cameras. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to drop a like down below. And the subscribe button is always appreciated. So again, thanks for watching and until next time.